today we're going to talk about all my favorite products, new and old favorites for the spring of 2024. Welcome, this is Ala Shapira and this is the Spa Runner channel. So first, my new favorite moisturizer from Dr. Babo Pro. Actually, no, this is Dr. Babor. Look at this, I'm almost done with it. I just applied it, you can see the hydration. It's very hydrating, it's called Collagen Cream Rich. It smells delicious, it's very hydrating. My new Refined Arax cleanser that you can use morning and night. Both of these products can be purchased online through the link below. This is the Farmhouse Fresh, new, new to me. It's not a new product. New eye cream has this applicator. You apply around the eye. You can apply it on your upper lid. Contains retinol, peptides, plant extracts, and it's great for lift and the puffing. So great eye cream. I, I'm really enjoying it. Next, this is my all-time favorite. It's Source Vital. This is a natural deodorant. It smells delicious people actually comment and ask me what i'm wearing it's not perfumey it's very natural essential oil based uh, deodorant i can't wear anything else we sell it at the spas at the woodhouse day spas in hoboken and montclair and it actually has seaweed in it so this is what makes for antiperspirant it's very natural there are no chemicals so if you're concerned with your house, this is a great deodorant. Next thing next, I discovered, we don't sell it at the spas. I wish we did. This is Alastin sunscreen. This sunscreen has a tint to it, but it's more than a tint. It's actually, it has pretty good coverage. So let me show you. Look at this color here. Look at this coverage. Don't you think it's great? It's amazing. So maybe that's not something you're going to wear at night for your night makeup, but you definitely can wear it for your day makeup. And the added bonus is sunscreen SPF 36. With sunscreen, don't forget your lips and your under eyes. So what do you think? Okay, next thing is under eye. This is Charlotte Tilbury color 2 medium. You see this peachy color is great if you have dark blue under eye and look how easily it covers you see the difference see i have darkness in here you can do the same here if you have the same issue this is not a new product i showed it to you before but it is one of my favorite products and i haven't found anything that works so well i actually ordered huda beauty under eye character which is coming has a different consistency i have a feeling it will be another my favorite but we need to wait for it to come in this is from victoria beckham i ordered a lot of makeup from victoria beckham and i am in love these products are just amazing i thought the packaging was just very high end they had the thank you note, handwritten, uh, everything was packaged beautifully. The packaging is just very, everything is very well made. I bought a lot of these products. One thing I will say, I did not love their lip pencil, just wasn't creamy. And I didn't love their highlighter. When I tried to return, they told me to keep them. I guess because I ordered so many products, they it wasn't making sense for them to pay for the shipping back. So first thing, first eyebrows, they have these baby blade eyebrow pencil and I got color top and just perfect match for my eyebrows. Look how thin it is. I don't know if you can see. So it's easy to work with and it looks very, very natural. On one side, there is a brush. Look how beautiful it is. Looks natural because it's so thin. It's easy to fill in without it looking, I guess, unnatural. <laughs> Next thing that I got from Victoria Beckham that I want to show you is the eye pencil. It is color sea gray and look how pretty this is. Now I have a hooded eye, but if you don't, bring the line out here. What do you think? Another thing that I really loved about Victoria Beckham, if you were buying any kind of pencil, you could get a free pencil sharpener. So I got a few of these. I think it's just a good touch. Like I didn't have to pay anything for this. It is very, very creamy. It's easy to work with. Look how the eyes open up. 
So on the other side, there is this applicator that you can just use to smudge your eyeliner. I think it's so pretty. There is not much else you need for your eyes. Well, mascara, of course. Next, I want to show you this counter stick. Look how perfect size this is. It's so easy to work. Like sometimes you get the thicker ones and like, I don't know how to work with them. This one is easy. Look, people do this. I'm not going to do this right now. And we're going to blend. And I'm using the Sephora brush number 78 for blending. Look how natural and pretty this is. And if you have a double chin, this is what you do. I did, this is too high. It needs to go under. So we'll just blend this. Next is the blush. Look at this beautiful color. And this color is called, I can't see, it says cherry something. We will look it up and put it in the description. It says cherry and then in small letters something else. How pretty is that? This is perfect for spring and summer. And we're going to blend this again with the same blending brush. And remember, I don't have makeup on. The foundation, instead of foundation, I have the sunscreen. Isn't it amazing? Look at this coverage. Look at this brightness. I just love this look. For the lips, I bought... So Victoria Beckham lip pencil. I mean, look at this pencil. It just doesn't... Oh no, this is not... The... Hold on. This is the This is the pencil for... for the brightness of the eye. It's called Instant Brightening Waterline Pencil. So you use it on your waterline. This peachy color, and I actually do love it. Again, I got a free uh, sharpener with it. Look at how the eyes open up and become brighter. You can always also do a little bit of brightening here in the corners. I think this is just beautiful. What I didn't love is the lip pencil from Victoria Beckham. It just, it's not creamy enough for me. I guess it's okay. It's not great. I actually am changing my mind. I don't know. You know, it's great for outlining. I don't think it's great for filling. It's just not that creamy texture that you can fill your lips in. The two other pencils that I really, really like that I got from Huda Beauty and Chanel. This is Chanel pencil. Very, very creamy here. You can use it to fill in. And the color is Nude Brun. B-R-U-N. Or brown. <laughs> I think this is a perfect color for any nude that you would want light or brown. And I also got this Huda Beauty. This is very dark pencil. Look at how dark this is. I wouldn't wear it always. This is more of a night look for me. But I think it's very creamy. I actually ordered more. I think one or two pencils from Huda Beauty just because I like this creamy consistency in different colors that I can use on a regular basis. And I got two lipsticks that I really love from Chanel. One is Mademoiselle. It's a little bit lighter in color. This is your nude for every day. And then I got Adrian. Oh no, Adrian is lighter. And the other one is Mademoiselle is darker. So look at this color. Well, let's do Huda Beauty on top as well. Now, Victoria Beckham lip gloss. Absolutely beautiful. Color is Martini. Has sparkles. So you can use it by itself. Just lip line. Or you don't have to lip line. Or on top of lipstick. Like I'm doing right now. Gives you this beautiful shine. And last but not least. Eyelashes. Oops. I bought the Lush Primer from Dior. It's called Dior Show Maximizer 3D. One side with this and one... <laughs> and another side without, just to see if there is any difference. The tubular mascara that I use makes my lashes look huge and I don't know if this will add any volume or length. Let's just try it. I'm not going to do the lower eyelashes and the mascara that I use, I showed it to you before, it's from Tartlet, and I think it just makes your eyelashes look great. And it stays, it doesn't run, it's easy to wash off. By the way, you need to replace your mascaras every three months. And do not share your mascaras with other people. You can get some very nasty infections by doing so.
Okay, let's try the other eye where we had the primer and see if there is a huge difference or not. And I already see the difference, right? Do you see the difference? Yeah, definitely. So what do you think? I think it looks great. If you love this kind of video and you want me to do more either makeup looks or show you my new favorite products, I'm, I'm actually expecting more products, a lot more products. Comment below on what do you want to see in the next videos and don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, you will like this next video as well. Until next time.